Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we try to analyze this jam question on waves. The question says, a plane progressive wave is represented by the equation y equal to 2 sine 2000 pi t minus 0.5x, where the symbols have their usual meaning. Find, number one, the amplitude of the wave, number two, the frequency of the wave, number three, the wavelength, and number four, the angular frequency. So let's get this done. Solution. Solution. Um, first things first, observe that the question says where the symbols have their usual meaning. So your first task will now be, as much as you can, try to recall the wave equation. All right? We've done a previous video on wave. I'll leave the link to the video on wave in the description of this video. All right? So just check the description of this video. You'll see a link to our previous class on wave. But then, let's recall the equation for wave. We said that for wave, recall that the equation of a wave is given by y equal to... Okay, let me bring this back. Given by y equal to a sine in bracket... 2 pi x all over lambda, so I have this, minus 2 pi f t. All right, so I have this. So this is the general equation of a wave, all right? A sine 2 pi x all over lambda minus 2 pi f t, so I have this. All right, so if you say where the symbols have the usual meaning, y is the vertical displacement of the wave that's why a is the amplitude x is the horizontal displacement of the wave x or lambda here represents the wavelength um, f represents frequency and t is time so from here now if you say where the symbols have the usual meaning i'll simply compare this to this equation here if i compare both of them number one let's start with amplitude Let's start with amplitude. Amplitude A will be equal to compare this and this. If I look at these two equations, you will see that A or the amplitude is whatever thing is attached to sine. So if I look at this here, what is attached to sine here is 2. So hence, the amplitude becomes 2. The amplitude will be in meters. That's 2 meters. Amplitude is simply the highest vertical distance that a wave particle can cover. All right, that's the amplitude, right? All right, so that means, and of course, it's measured in meters, so it becomes two meters. Number two, we ask to find frequency, frequency f. How do I get, how do I get frequency? Um, it's as easy as look at your equation carefully. If I look at my equation carefully here, I can see that frequency is here, f, and it's attached to t. My, my idea will now be, look at this equation here, all right? Which one is attached to t? Or which one do you have t there? It will be this one here, 2000 pi t. So just simply equate them. So for frequency, you say that this one here, that's 2 pi f t is equal to this one here. You have 2000 pi t, all right? I'm simply saying this is equal to this because of the presence of the t. Now, the question will now be, but, but in this equation here, this one here is close to the end. That's, if I look at this this way, it's on my right-hand side. That's this way. And that was after the minus. But in this equation here, the t is appearing before the minus. So why am I equating them? The idea is simple. The idea of um, it being before the minus sign or after the minus sign only shows you direction please take note it only shows you direction all right so if i have this one here the t the term having the t coming before the minus sign and then the term having the t coming after the minus sign it only tells you the direction to which the wave is moving all right for this one here okay maybe i'll talk about the direction in another video but when it comes to this calculation here ignore the minus sign just look for the one having t which would be 2 pi f t, ignoring the minus, come to this 2. The one having t is this one here, 2,000 pi t, ignore the minus. So simply equate the term having t here, 
to the term having t here, and I have this. To get the value of f, I will divide here by 2 pi t. So 2 cancels 2, pi cancels pi, t cancels t. Divide here also by 2 pi t. So pi cancels pi, t cancels t, 2 here 1, 2 here 1,000. So the frequency f is equal to 1,000. Frequency is measured in hertz. I'm having 1,000 hertz as my answer. Let's look at the third one there. The third one there is wavelength. Wavelength. And we said wavelength is simply lambda. This is pronounced lambda. All right. And lambda is simply the difference between two successive crests or two successive troughs. All right. Uh, we discussed all of this, as I said, in a previous class. I will leave the link in the description of this video. All right. Let's get this. So how do we get lambda? How do we get the wavelength? What do we do? The, the idea will be simple. If you look at this, the wavelength is attached to the term bearing x. So just as we did for t, we also do for x. If I look at this here, which term has x? 0 0.5. So equate 0 0.5 to this one here. Irrespective of if it comes before the minus or after the minus, it only shows direction. So if that's true, I will have that this, for this we'll have that 2 pi, 2 pi x over lambda will be equal to this one having x here, yeah? 0.5x. I'm having 0.5x. Let's solve for lambda. My first term to be cross multiply. This times this gives you 0.5 times x times lambda. So 0.5x lambda is equal to 2 pi x times 1 gives you 2 pi x. To get lambda, I'll divide here by 0.5x. Divide here by 0.5x. 0.5 cancels 0.5. X cancels X. So lambda wavelength is equal to X cancels X. Uh, this would be about 4 pi. So 2 divided by 2 pi divided by 0.5. If you punch that, that gives you about 12 point. 5.7 wavelength is measured in meters so it becomes 12.57 so if punch 2 pi divided by 0 0.5 you have that answer 12.57 so this is how we get this value all right finally let's get number four number four we have to find angular frequency now note that angular frequency angular frequency is omega and omega is equal to 2 pi f so if i impute values omega will be equal to 2 times pi to the value of f uh, we said f is what a thousand i'm having a thousand um, hertz multiply this this gives you what there two times one thousand two thousand hertz all right that becomes the angular frequency. So 2000 pi. Um, angular frequency. Okay, so angular frequency is measured in rad per second. Rad per second. So the answer is 2000 pi rad per second. That's your value. Um, in this case, it's not very necessary that we have to put 3.14 there. No, you can leave it as pi. See, okay. So I'm having 2000 pi rad per second. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, you can check out my complete playlist on mass, physics, and chemistry on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimmanuel.com forward slash courses and you have access to over 50 of my classes on um, physics, chemistry, math, and other sciences. Alright, so just look at the YX slash jam classes and you have access to all my videos um, for physics, math, and chemistry. Alright then. See you in our next class.